Hello. Um, some people have asked me to show how I uh, re-engineer a scan, a scanned last, into a sub D last that I use for modeling. Well, um, I'll show you here. And what I've got here is a scanned last. Um, it's a 3D scan. It's a nice scan, as you can see. It's an old last. It's used in a last factory uh, to uh, produce lasts in larger quantities for shoe production. It's a, it was a very old uh, uh, company. It went broke and uh, this is one of their mother lasts they used uh, to copy. So they put this uh, last in a machine and uh, it was mechanically copied into plastic lasts used for production. Um, you see I've taped the holes here where it was uh, connected with the machine, with the copying machine. Uh, here you see it in shaded mode. Okay. Now the last I have here to start with is this last. This is the sub B last made in a, a generated by Grasshopper at this moment. Um, so I cannot select it. I can bake it. Now I have the final sub B last here. And this one I can uh, modify, as you can see. Now the question is, how can I get this last, this scan last, uh, how can I re-engineer it into this one? Um, okay. I'll switch on the reference cages, the, the, the target cage. Okay, this is the target cage, and with this target cage, this one, I can uh, modify the last any way I want, but in a rough way. This cage is in fact uh, one of two meshes, and one mesh is, uh, is hide. Uh, I've hide one mesh and what I do is I flow uh, a basic sub D last from one last from one mesh to another mesh and this is the target mesh so when I uh, modify this target mesh the last inside it will follow I'll show you I'll make it a bit transparent see it from the side the other side, okay. I'll drag this last where I want it, okay. I'll keep my mouth shut for some time now, and you'll see me modeling. I'll speed it up later. Okay, I'll switch on the, the rendered mode for this last rendered, okay, and see it from the top now. 
You see I've been modeling the left last and the scan is made of the right last. So I'll uh, uh, mirror it. I can always mirror it back. You see the texture also went, uh, is also mirrored now. <laughs> it a little bit okay and I'm doing I'm using a, a this predefined last so that in the final last all the control points all the grips are located there where I want them so now it's question of <coughs> rough and fast modeling okay you see the idea of the last is coming here. I, I will not uh, copy the top line. Uh, I will keep my own top line. You can always change that later if you want. You see that I keep the, 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 the wire frame, the lines of the last. Uh, following the scan. Okay, that's already coming close. Let's see. Let's um, I'll hide this one. I'll move this one. Okay, so this is where we are now. Move it back. Okay, now the idea of the last has uh, is the, the, the main shape of the last is finished. Now I'll we'll switch to a more detailed modeling uh, way. That means I'll switch off Grasshopper. Um, before that, I'll bake this sub this last. Uh, <coughs> So it becomes a sub D last that I can model in Rhino. Um, let's bake it. Okay. Toggle the this one off. This one off. Okay. I have another one on the on the other side now. I automated that, but that's not necessary now. Okay. Now the first thing I'll do now is to get the feather line a bit closer than it is now. Um, I'll make it a bit more transparent. So I've already come close now, but it's not perfect yet. Well, real perfection isn't necessary. Uh, it's my own last, so it, it's okay if it's a, a little bit different than the, than the original last. Um, but now I'm going to use a trick. Now I'm very close. And that is that I will... Uh,
switch on the edit points instead of the control points. And these are the control points and they have a distance to the surface of the sub D. Uh, that's one of the reasons why sub D modeling um, is a bit I have also edit points. And edit points are on the surface. And what I can do now is pull those edit points to the scan. Um, then the edit points will be on the scan, but uh, the surface of the sub D between these edit points is not necessarily uh, on the scan. Uh, that's why sub D modeling has its own difficulties. Um, okay, I'll select the points I want to pull to the scan. Um, I don't want to pull the, 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 these points, the points that are on the feather line, um, because my scan is a bit rounded, as you can see. And the sub D last has a very uh, sharp edge. So I don't want these points to be on the surface of the scan. I want to model them myself later on so that they are where I want them, like this. Now a bit, a bit, now a bit lower. You see? So there's a bit. Uh, there's a difference between the location of these points and the scan. Um, it takes some time to model that in the right way. And you also have to take care that your sub D last um, has the control points there where you need them. Okay, I'll uh, select these points. I'll use lasso selection, lasso, lasso, lasso. Okay, the scan is locked, so I have to unlock the scan. These are the points. I have accidentally selected also a few points of the feather line. I don't want that. Okay, these are the points I want. Now I select the scan and I say pull. And now all these points are exactly on the surface as you see. I can do the same now for the for these uh, control points. These are the control points of the bottom surface. I don't want to select these control points because as you can see there's a metal plate on the last and it gives a bit of thickness and I don't want this thickness to be copied in my sub B last. Uh, that's for production reasons. Okay, I'll put, pull these to the scan. Okay. Now I'm very close to where I want it to be. And as you see, there are some very minor differences between the last and the, the scan and the sub D last. Um, I can edit the last a little bit. But the differences are not very big. Um, I'll edit this a bit. Okay, this is the result after some time of modeling. Um, you see there are a few minor differences between the scan and the last, but you know, you can go for on for ages. I see this point here, it could be a little bit adjusted. You see, 
um, but I think this last is good enough for me and it's not really a question of reproducing the last itself uh, to be exactly like the uh, like the scan that's not what I'm that's not my intention um, I can do that but that comes with a cost what I can do is to subdivide this last again um, blah, 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 blah. and again and you see now I have a lot of more control points and when I now pull these control points to the last it will be very exact um, the scan <laughs> it's pulling no crash I hope okay now it's even more exact so if someone asks you I want uh, this last to be exactly the way it is and that means exact uh, the same as the scan and between scanning and last there are also differences so but now I have so many control points that it's very difficult to uh, deform the last in a meaningful way so I'll go back and have this as the end result. Um, I'll hide the scan and I'll uh, make it solid again. Transparency zero. Okay. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Okay, let's play around a bit with this last. My opinion is when it looks good, it is good. Uh, we can analyze the surface with, uh, let's say, Zebra. Okay, nice and smooth. Or we can analyze it with the environment map. It's always a nice one. Okay, I'll leave it with this. Um, now you have a sub D last that you can manipulate as you want. I can also um, put this uh, last. So this is the final uh, sub D last I've modeled based on this scan. Um, I can also use this uh, sub B last as the new basic last. So if I want to remodel or re-engineer another scan that comes closer to this one, I've uh, with, with that that looks like this one. Uh, it's less work, as you can understand. Um, but I'm very happy with this last. It has a very uh, sharp feather edge. You can also um, remove the sharpness of the feather edge okay I'll get rid of the scan so it's rounded here now see um, that's more like the original one okay I hope you like this video and see you again on YouTube.